a, a pleasure to announce this uh, first uh, art talk with uh, Vic Muniz, the Brazilian artist, and uh, Dr. Hans Christian Heiling from Köln. They will uh, talk about uh, art, but more. Uh, it will be the art talking, is it correct? Perfect. Thank you all for being here. Especially because I, I rarely go to art talks, you know, I get very bored, most of them. Um, but I, I want to thank you, thank all the organizers of uh, uh, Some Words uh, Art Masters Festival, especially my friend Renier to bring me here. I just came from Rio yesterday. Uh, so I'm still a little dizzy, but I'll try to do this one way or another. Uh, I, the work that Rainier chose for the exhibition here, it's relatively unusual, you know, um, and I have a short presentation here that will show a range of uh, strategies of actually, um, for the last 25 years, I'm trying to find different ways to say the same thing. It's actually to draw attention to process, draw attention to the way images are made, rather just from taking them as pure content. I am a, a student of Marshall McLuhan in a, in a sense that I believe that the content of a medium is always another medium. And in a way, most of what images transmit to us is the way, it's, it's their status as images. And until we have an education capable of presenting this, in a, in a creating, showing, the, teaching us the grammar, teaching our kids the grammar, the structure, uh, uh, the nature and also the miracle of what an image is, the wonder that they carry. You know, I think it's the job of an artist to sort of uh, expose and create discussion about uh, imagetic mechanisms. And I have dedicated a quarter of a century, you know, half of my life of doing this. And uh, this is, you know, an image that was for another lecture, but I'll just start with this because I say uh, uh, what you see in most of my work is a split between something that you have in your mind and something that you encounter. Art is always about an encounter. It's about something, it's, uh, it's about recognition, you know? It's something that you see again. And a lot of my uh, source material are very tired images, which is, are images that have been subjected to a semantic degradation, you know? Uh, They've been used too many times. They become icons. They become archetypes. They become part of the collective uh, unconscious. And then when you, you're in front of these images, you actually think more about them than you see them. You know, it's something that happens when you see, if I say, starry night. Everybody has a picture in their heads of the Van Gogh uh, emblematic piece. So sometimes when, if you're in front of the work, even if you're actually in front of the work, the Museum of Modern Art, it will take you a couple of seconds. Probably you won't be, even be able to see it because you have the image imprinted in your head so much, it creates a sort of a screen of, of meaning, of linguistic, semantic structure that really keeps you from seeing what the picture really is. In New York, if you go to a bar, you ask a guy, oh, uh, what do you do? The guy said, um, I'm an artist, and then, and the first question that comes after that is like, uh, representational or abstract? It's like you couldn't be one or another, you know? I like, I go to sport events because I like to see crowds. And the moment you see the most important type of representation, which is a human face, and in distance it turns into texture, you know? And I love, I've been, I've done many, many pictures with crowds. And uh, this is another work that I've been doing with papers, uh, part of my most recent series, which is after I, I worked with garbage a lot recently. I don't know, I, I did a film about it. And I kept thinking about cultural garbage. When you look at a magazine, there are things that you read, things that you see, but then there's all these things that you're not seeing, but they're coming into your brain one way or another. You know, when you look at uh, uh, computer pages, it's the same thing. And a lot of this stuff becomes, they're, they're inside your brain. And all of a sudden, I keep thinking, all the form, all the thinking that you can organize is, is basically a matter of hygiene. It's based on like how you push things around to create forms and makes it like a meaning, a sort of a negative from everything else that's around it. So my work with this sort of like talks about cultural garbage, you know. Ladies and gentlemen, may I ask your attention again for a few minutes because the 
Professor Hans Christian Heiling will talk about the the community's art and not only this, many many things uh, pretty interesting to to hear. Thank you very much. I'm a psychologist from Cologne and I only work with art. I make art coaching. We tell the people, say everything which comes up to your mind, tell me what this artwork talks to you, says, does with you, and what do they say? Nothing. Nothing. They are astonished, surprised. First moments, people don't say nothing. This art stops the usual stories, conversations about arts. They keep their mouths open and look at each other with like big question marks. After a little while, they say, is this already the artwork? This is wrong. This is fair cared, pervert. We are not used to this. We are used to something different. And um, we are really disturbed. Then, after a little while, the people switch between smiling and anger. So, somehow, somewhere, it's funny, it's nice. It makes us smile. Good idea. Crazy guy. Who did it? Who, who, who came this idea to his mind? But at the same time, people say, Oh, this is a trick. It's only a trick. I don't want to have anything to do with this. And we physically feel the wish to go there and turn them around. We want to come back to what we are used to. We want to come back to the way of every day, which he doesn't allow. He forces us to get into the wrong side. So <coughs> we feel like, I want to get into the front door of a house, but they say, no, I don't let you in there. Take the back door. He makes a fool out of me, people say. Get angry and want to get away from it. They don't like it. Usually in the museums or in the galleries, that's the moment when the people go away. But we tell them, please stay here. Sit and tell me what comes up to your mind. And when we really get into it, then things come up which the lady here said to us, a moment ago, this is wood, a real thing. I can smell it. I see that somebody made this frame. This is handwork. We can see all these little marks, post-its. Somebody wrote things on the back side, what we don't want to see in the first moment. We want to see the front side, not the back side. But step for step, we see, oh, this picture was there at home. It traveled. It visited this place. And we get into a story, a life story of this artwork. I, I, it is to actually, when you look at any image, you try to figure out what are the gears behind it. You know, what they look like, and what the image, and not only what it's trying to do, but how does it do it, you know? Images have grammar, they have uh, uh, structures, all of them. They have, this is their move, this is their aesthetic, you know, and this is the thing that we should just uh, look for when we look at art, and we, when we look at media, when we look at advertising, and then we look at and images in general.